Whether related by blood or by clan, the artists of the village of Shanto have come home to celebrate their worlds of artistry. We have our umbilical cord buried here in this community. Shanto Begay is a world-renowned author and painter. He says painting for him is a celebration of moments in his life. Today is another one of those great moments. It keeps us community of artists from here, a very cohesive and creative unit, and I like that. Bahi Whitethorn Sr., Shanto's brother, and a renowned artist in his own right, brought together his family and fellow artists for this village celebration of art and food. Families are sometimes hard to bring together. Everybody's on their own, doing their own thing. And something like this sort of brings back the unique uh, connections of family. Bahi says it's important to gather together to teach the younger generations. It's just the idea of beginning something with them and see where it goes. They, they see how you work and how you present yourself. Elizabeth Whitethorn Benali is Shanto and Bahi's sister, and she's a Navajo folk artist. She says while her brothers taught her to paint, she has established herself in other art mediums because she is inspired by different things than they are. This piece here is done with a lot of texturizing on canvas. Otherwise, I work on wood. I carve on wood, a lot of reclaimed wood. A lot of influence comes from the people that are around me, especially if the women in the community, because I come from a long line of very strong, independent women. Her exquisite pieces on wood clearly reflect that. But the talent doesn't stop there. Shanto's brother Tony is also a painter, and his daughter is a prodigy at just seven years old. All of them have grown up in Shanto, which means Sunshine Springs. And that makes perfect sense, because Shanto is a beautiful part of Navajo land, and everything seems to grow there, including its array of homegrown artists.